Hi guys, so today I want to talk about having attachments to objects and how that can affect you and how to try to detach yourself from those things and the benefits. So I find myself to be very attached to the things that I own. It can be clothes, souvenirs, anything really. Um, and that can be a problem because sometimes things can go missing or things can break and then it can actually really hurt. Um, some of you might know that I am in the process of moving. I'm not really exactly sure at the moment where I'm moving to or what my living situation will be like. Everything's really complicated. But either way, I decided that I want to start new and I want to get rid of a lot of things and that's what I'm doing. And sometimes I'll spend all day just sorting through all my stuff, my stuff and trying to like organize things and figure out what it is I want to get rid of and then I get rid of those things and then later by night it actually kind of like hurts and I think wow like did I really just like get rid of all of my paints and you know it could be anything and sometimes it just like kind of feels painful to let those things go like for instance yes I am like um, very much into art and I had a whole collection of paint but I figured I'm gonna start new somewhere. I'm gonna get new painting supplies and that's what I try to tell myself. I always tell myself a lot of these things can be replaced. Um, also, a lot of times I feel like I hold on to things because I think I'm gonna need it. And sometimes the reality is I'll pick up this item that I think that I'll need and I realize, wait a minute, I've had this for three years and I haven't used it yet. What are the chances I'll use it now? And then I figure, well, it's taking up space, so maybe I'll just get rid of it. You know, if, if I need something, I can always just go to the store and buy it again. It's fine, you know? Um, and as for souvenirs, you know, I feel like Sometimes those are the hardest things to get rid of and I don't really think you have to get rid of them But if you choose to you need to just let go Don't Let the souvenirs take your emotions with it, you know um, like for instance one of the things that I recently got rid of it was a little bottle it was like about that big and it was called love potion and it was um like a little souvenir that i got when i went to universal studios in florida and um i got rid of it because i was just trying to get rid of stuff and i just got kind of sick of it and then i started to feel kind of sad and i was like did i really just get rid of my souvenir and there was also a part of me that was like, okay, so I have this thing where like, I try to collect souvenirs because I feel like it's like proof that, hey, I went there and I did this, you know? But it's like, why do I need to even prove myself? And that's like another like attachment that I have to these items. Like sometimes I want to prove that I did something like, you know, if I went to a certain beach, I'll go to the souvenir shop there, you know, and, and have something with the name of the beach on it, just so I could be like, you know, so I could show it off, like, oh yes, I, I went here, but it's like, it doesn't matter. What matters is that I went and I had a good time. I don't have to take something back with me. And, um... Yeah, I just, I feel like I have so many things that I just feel very attached to. And it doesn't feel, it really doesn't feel good to be attached to things. You might think that it makes you happy and that you have a lot that you're thankful for, but really, when something happens, like if you lose those things or something, like then it really hurts you and that's just like, it's not okay. Um, I remember like there were times where like I would like lose my pen at work and I would feel sad over it 
Like, it doesn't freaking matter. It's a pen. You know, it's not a person. It would be a lot sadder if I, like, lost, you know, someone special in my life. But it's just an object. It doesn't matter. It's like, you know, just get on with your day and don't be bothered, you know? Um, so, yeah, I'm still in the process of getting rid of things. And, um... Yeah, just trying to keep things that I just, I really like or things that I need. And I mean, actually really like and really need. Um, I'm trying to be, I guess, more minimalistic. Um, and it, it's really not easy. Maybe to some people it is, but um, I've kind of been struggling. Um, but maybe not too bad because I was able to get rid of like some boxes of things um i kind of had an obsession with feeling like i need to have everything and i need to have everything that i could possibly need and i don't think that's a good mindset to have i feel like a lot of times you can do without certain things you might think you need it but really you don't and sometimes you could even find like if it's like a tool that you need, you could even find something to substitute that tool. Like, I just feel like there's a there's a lot of ways to get by in life, and um, you don't have to really spoil yourself. And I, I think I was spoiling myself, and that's why I felt so attached to these objects, you know, my belongings. But ultimately, it just. It wasn't a good feeling, you know? Because um, my room started to get kind of uh, crowded with all this stuff. I, I, I'm not a hoarder. It never got to that point, but... Um, you know, I just... I just had a lot of stuff. Like, it's not like it was like trash or anything, but it was just a lot of stuff and... I just kind of had to like teach myself that I didn't need it all, you know. It's good to have some stuff, but you don't need everything, you know. Um, even though sometimes I get a little sad because I'm just like, should I have really gotten rid of that? Like, I'll think of something that like a friend gave me, but it's like, it's okay. You know, they gave it to me, it's up to me what I want to do with it. And sometimes it's just the good memories that count. And not really, you know, a physical object. So, yeah, it's really not as bad as it seems. Trying to clear your room out or your house and you know, get rid of stuff, then you get to start new. And I really like that because I'm getting rid of a lot of clothes and jewelry and perfume. But it was like stuff that I had for like years and it's like, yeah, that stuff was nice and I enjoyed it, but it'll be fun to like, you know, have all new things. A lot of times I would see cute things in the store and I wouldn't buy it because I would be like, oh, well, I already have, you know, enough perfume. But now, like, if I see one that I really want or, you know, I want to try, like, it's, you know, not a big deal because now I have, like, you know, the room for it. You know, I'm not all crowded. I don't have a massive collection anymore. It's like, you know, a brand new start. And also, I feel like your sense of style, like your taste, it changes over time. So I kind of found out that I was holding on to some things that just like weren't really my style anymore. And I thought I liked those things, but really I didn't. So it's kind of like a relief to have gotten rid of those things because it's like, okay, out with the old, in with the new. It's a brand new start for me. So yeah. Um, you can, you know, try this at any point in your life. It doesn't have to be when you're moving. I feel like when you're moving, maybe it's a little easier because you become more aware of all the stuff that you have. 
and what you need to take with you and you know but really um any time is a good time to clear your room out or your house and you know just try getting rid of some things and then once you do it might take a couple, like a day or two because you know you might have some emotional attachments to it but then you realize you didn't really need it after all it doesn't matter um so yeah i just kind of wanted to share that with you guys um it's just something that like i'm going through right now and i feel like it's like a really good practice um so yeah i guess that's really all i have to say and thanks for watching bye